Ever wondered how tricksters manage to scam people? Well, in today's world, where cunning and deception often lurk in the shadows, it's essential to be aware of the various unethical hacks and scams out there. It's not about becoming a trickster yourself, but about understanding their ways, their world. It's about being vigilant, being one step ahead, and not falling prey to their scams. Imagine a realm where tricksters thrive, exploiting loopholes and bending rules to their advantage. A world that thrives in the gray areas of ethics and legality. From sneaky hotel charger scams to deceptive Walmart tricks, from clever Amazon Prime hacks to cunning parking cons, it's a world that's as fascinating as it is unsettling. So buckle up as we delve into the conniving world of tricksters. Prepare to unveil the secrets of their craft, not to join them, but to protect yourself from falling into their sly traps. Imagine forgetting your charger while traveling. What do you do? Well, you could buy a new one, or you could try this little trick. Head into any hotel and ask for their lost and found. These places are often a treasure trove of forgotten chargers. Just act as if you've stayed there recently and left your charger behind. They're likely to hand one over, no questions asked. And voila, you have a charger without spending a dime. What if you accidentally mark the wall of your rented space? Picture this. You've accidentally left a mark on the wall. Instead of fretting about repair costs, you employ a little trick. You change the date on your phone to a time before the incident. Then, you take a picture of the mark. When asked, you show the picture, claiming the mark was there when you moved in. It's a simple deception, but one that can save you from unnecessary expenses. And that's how tricksters avoid repair charges. Here's a trick to get free shipping on Amazon. Now this is a clever one, and it's all about timing. Tricksters start by getting their hands on an empty Visa gift card. They use this card to sign up for Amazon Prime, which, as we know, offers free shipping on many items. But here's where the cunning comes into play. After placing their order, these scammers immediately cancel their Prime membership. Now you might be thinking, but surely Amazon would catch on? Not quite. The cancellation process takes a bit of time, so the order goes through with the free shipping intact. And because the Visa gift card is empty, Amazon isn't able to charge the Prime membership fee. The best part, this trick can be repeated over and over again, and that's how tricksters get free shipping. Just remember, while it's fascinating to learn about these hacks, it's unethical and illegal to put them into practice. Ever struggled to find free parking? Well, tricksters have found a cunning solution. Imagine you're in a bustling city with not a single parking space in sight. What do you do? This is where four simple traffic cones come into play. By strategically placing these cones around your vehicle, you create the illusion of an official parking reservation. It's a bold move that might raise a few eyebrows, but generally, people steer clear of the coned-off area. And just like that, you have a parking spot. Thinking of getting a new car? Well, here's an interesting trick that some tricksters use to rake in some quick cash. Picture this. You've got an old car that you're ready to part with. Instead of selling it outright, you decide to create a raffle for it. You make a hundred raffle tickets and charge 20 bucks for each. That's a neat $2,000 if all tickets are sold. You then announce the winner and tell them to wait a week to get the car. But here's the catch. After a week, you inform the winner that there's something wrong with the engine. You return their $20, apologizing for the inconvenience. But what about the rest of the money? Well, that's yours to keep. And that's how tricksters turn their old car into a quick buck. Ever craved for a free meal at a major hotel? Well, here's a scheme that some tricksters have mastered. Major hotels often offer complimentary continental breakfasts to their guests. These breakfasts are typically served between the hours of 7 and 10 in the morning. Now here's where things get interesting. These hotels rarely require any verification for guests enjoying breakfast. You heard it right. No room number, no key card, nothing. So, these cunning folks simply walk into the hotel during breakfast hours, act like they belong, and help themselves to a hearty meal. All it takes is a little confidence and the ability to blend in. They fill their plates with eggs, bacon, toast, and all the other breakfast goodies, and then they enjoy their meal as if they were a paying guest. And there you have it, a free breakfast on the house. 
What if you could get a product for a price you claim? Now that sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? But hold on to your seats, because this is exactly what tricksters have been pulling off at Target. Here's the scoop. During their training, Target employees are taught that if a customer disputes a price and the full price is less than $20, it's better for the company to give it to them for whatever price they claim. Why? Well, it's more cost-effective for the company to move on to the next customer than to delay the line with a price check. So tricksters, aware of this policy, argue over prices to get their desired items for less. They walk into a Target store, pick up a product priced under $20, and then claim it costs less at the checkout. And voila, they walk out with a bargain, no coupon needed. And that's how tricksters get a discount without a coupon. Now that you know their tricks, how can you protect yourself? In this world of quick fixes and instant gratification, it's easy to fall prey to scams and unethical hacks. But with a little vigilance, you can shield yourself from these tricksters. First and foremost, it's crucial to recognize the signs of a scam. Be wary of deals that seem too good to be true, because, let's face it, they probably are. If someone offers you a brand new camera for the price of a cup of coffee, or a free car with just a raffle ticket, you might want to think twice before taking the bait. Also, be cautious of unsolicited communications. If you get a call from a telemarketer you don't recognize, or an email from a stranger offering you a too-good-to-be-true deal, don't engage. Simply hang up or delete the email. Don't give any personal or financial details to anyone unless you're absolutely sure they're legitimate. Next, it's important to stay updated. Scams and unethical hacks evolve over time, just as our defenses against them do. Regularly educate yourself about the latest trends in scams. There are plenty of resources online and even some dedicated apps and websites that keep track of the most recent scams out there. Lastly, don't be silent. If you come across a scam, report it. Whether it's to the local authorities, your bank, or an online platform where the scam took place, make sure to raise the alarm. Not only will you protect yourself, but you might also prevent others from falling into the same trap. Remember, these tricksters rely on our lack of knowledge and our desire for an easy deal. But with a bit of vigilance, a dash of skepticism, and a healthy dose of common sense, we can protect ourselves and our hard-earned resources. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Stay vigilant and report any scams you encounter.